Welcome to this online healing retreat. Our program starts shortly. First, create your sacred space and listen to this music from the universe, literally created by the universe as mathematical equations were assigned to musical notes. The result is this beautiful music, available at AcousticHealth.com. Our program starts shortly. Welcome to this online healing retreat brought to you by AcousticHealth.com. I'm Loren Gailey, and today we are with Gregory and Gail Hogue of Metaforms.net. We are going to experience the energies from on high and multi-dimensions, and it comes through sacred geometry. Get ready for some activations that you will feel the energy. We're also going to experience encoded music in our presentation today. Please welcome Gregory and Gail Hogue. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, Loren, for having us. It's uh, something we've been looking forward to this whole week. I'm excited. And Loren, this is Gail. Something you may not know about me is that before I got together with Gregory, I was doing all kinds of healing work and have done so much throughout the almost 30 years that we've been together. I don't do it professionally as much as I used to, and yet I have such a place in my heart for working with our tools with healing, whether it's self-healing or working as a practice with other people. These tools are just phenomenal for taking us to the next level and being able to interact with people on higher energetic planes so that it has a tremendous effect. So it's really exciting to be here with you and, uh, and work with your, your wonderful group of people that are so committed to health. Well, thank you again for being here. When we look at these activations, we always, our mind would like to try to wrap around it, but we're going to feel a little bit of what's going on here. Can you talk more about how we feel these energies and maybe what's going on with these activations? Okay, you see, when we work with uh, sacred geometric structures that we build, they're like antenna systems. 
that are attracting certain energies of a higher dimensional nature. So this is what I've been working with for over 40 years in creating forms that go into people's homes. I've been working with things that people can wear on their body and they work as, again, as I said, as an antenna that attracts energy, that focuses energy. And so what we have recently discovered is that with the help of a friend, we're able to capture the energies of some of these forms on a computer and then we fold it back on itself thousands and thousands of times. The energy becomes stronger and stronger with each unfolding and then we're able to take an audio program or a video program and we can lay that energy track behind it so that what happens is people start feeling the energy of some of the forms and the different things that we've captured and it opens them up, it relaxes them. It's something that allows them to go much deeper into their body and their emotions and their feelings and at the same time that energy allows them to access higher aspects of themselves and be able to feel more of a divine connection and perspective which makes it much easier to let go of the things that no longer serve us and see them for what they are. Sometimes we get so closely aligned with the physical personality that it's difficult for us to even recognize what's going on in our life other than we don't feel good. But what we've done with these energies is we're actually embedding that energy into the soundtrack so a person can start to watch from that higher perspective. It, it's really allowing us to move much faster through the changes that we wish to uh, create in our life. Um, you know, I look at the fact that we like to use a lot of different ways to move us to the next level, whether that's, you know, emotionally, spiritually, physically, whatever it is. When we can use all the different modalities, then we are enhancing this growth process. And geometry and sound is extremely well connected. And what we're seeing is that the, the soundtrack and then the words that we've brought together for these activations are helping to create a whole other um, process for taking each of us to uh, use the tools that we've developed and be able to really focus it, you know, focus it for, for different purposes. Like, for instance, the first activation that we've created is called Connect to Your Purpose in Creative Spirit. So we're, we start there, and then with the tools that we've developed, the Eye Connect and now the Heart Companion and some of the other metaphors that we've had for so long, we are now just enabling our awareness to come on board and use these, um, these meditations and use the geometries, use the vibrational quality. And when you put it all together, it's, it's really amazing what it can do. And, you know, I'm finding that the more that I use the activations, the more potent, you know, it's like an accumulation. It just keeps growing with what it can do to clear the stuff that has inhibited our growth and enable us to take our next steps. Wonderful. So you put together the I Connect, which is the tool that people use, and that is not necessary for this activation today, but it certainly helps and it's really powerful. What I love about this is that there is scientific proof that the eye connect using this tool that we see here on the screen can change your 
auric field. That's been photographed. And muscle testing also shows that we are, that what could make us weak in muscle testing because it's on in our emotional body, when we hold the eye connect, that muscle testing is exactly the opposite. So what's going on there? Well, you see there are so many things in the environment today that we've created with our technologies and what we've created with our belief systems and thoughts and all of these things separate us from higher self, from the flow of energy, from the core of our being. It's like we are the tip of an iceberg, the body that you see, the personality that you see uh, when you look in the mirror and when you navigate this world, it's just a very small part of the totality of who we are, that part that we call soul, that part we call higher self, and our emotions, and our thoughts. And all of that flow of energy from the higher part of ourself is getting blocked by the toxins in the environment, our negative emotions, what goes on with the electromagnetic fields, um, even the computer that we're using right now has a dampening effect on the energy flow from higher self and that clarity that comes from that level. So what's going on with the eye connect is that when a person holds that, we've been able to demonstrate that through uh, a piece of equipment that we're working with that was developed by a Russian physicist, Dr. Korokov, and they use this piece of equipment in hospitals as a diagnostic tool to find out what's going on with the internal organs, what's going on with the energy field around the body, where are their weaknesses, and where are there things that are underactive or overactive, and that when we measured a person's body internally, what's going on with their energy field, what's going on with their balance points, I mean their chakras, are they balanced in the center and are they large and are they flowing well. We found that when people are very uh, blocked up, when there are a lot of holes in the aura, when maybe their liver is underactive, their spleen, after holding the eye connect for just a matter of five minutes and then we were remeasuring with the same piece of equipment, we found that their auric field, the energy field, the bio uh, energy mass around the body that can be measured was filled in, it was strong, it was moving energy that the internal organs that were sometimes underactive start becoming more active and many of the things that were overactive also come into balance. So that's what goes on with this small tool when someone holds it on their body and we've been able to do uh, measurements in what we call single blind tests where the people we're hanging on to something that could be a placebo. It could be just something with nothing inside. They just feel the weight of it and we measure how their body changes and we found no appreciable measurement shift at all when they had a placebo, but when they had the actual um, eye connect, then there were major shifts in the body in the way a person thought, in the way they felt, and all of these things make a big difference in the way people are able to operate in the world. They can, we can be much happier when we're more connected. We can feel much better. We can have our um, health be operating on a much higher, more optimal level. It's all so interconnected that when energy flows from the higher aspects of ourself, everything starts falling into place. And that's where the love that we truly are is coming from. So it's, it's wonderful to have that, that love, that connection coming into our life again. It shifts the way everything looks in the world and the way the world starts 
interacting with us because it's always a reflection of how we feel and who we are inside that's coming out into the world and the way the world's giving it back to us. Okay, well let's get started with our first activation. And this is connecting with your purpose. Um, absolutely, and the creative aspect of your, of your higher self. So it's really going to start bringing people into that relationship of the bigger part of themselves. And so this is an important first step. And in the background of this activation, we talked a little bit about the music, but your property in Lyons, Colorado has chambers where you have these larger forms that energize the area and the land around it. What I find interesting, did you notice in the video that we did in our healing conversation, there was the sound of music that was picked up on the recording in the video that I couldn't hear when we were there. Did you notice that in the video? When I was editing that video, I heard it. It was very subtle. I thought you would like to know that. Oh, could this have been like the sound of bells and chimes? And Yes, but I didn't hear any bells or chimes in your property, and it wasn't windy that day. But yeah, it was there, uh, and it was very subtle. And I believe that was the energy of your property. Well, I love that because it's palpable when you come onto this land People who've never been here before, they feel it, they act differently. And and actually, you know, since the, the flood that we had, Loren, the energy has really elevated. So it'll be fun to have you come out and experience the difference and see if you pick up some new sounds. Mm. And so one thing we do want to say, Greg and Gail were, he, are here in Colorado and so am I. And in September, there was a huge flood, 100-year flood, 500-year flood, biblical proportions, they say. And a little stream by your house, yard, hundreds of yards away, became a torrential river, raging river. And it came very close within your home. It took out the infrastructure in the land in front of your house. And you both weathered this storm with such grace and ease. I would say maybe it wasn't ease, but you attribute it to the I connect. Absolutely. Normally under these circumstances they create a tremendous amount of stress. And there's that sense of what am I going to do now? You know, faced with the um, you know, in a disaster, the unknowing, you know, are you going to be okay? And the first thing that is really important to know is that because we have created these tools and worked with feeling connected to source, there was a deep knowing that everything was okay. Even when the night when we had to leave the house because at 3 a.m. we looked outside and the river was, it wasn't flooding up, it was carving a humongous basin that was taking the land and carving it into a watershed basin. And as we gathered some of our stuff, we woke up our kids, we got our animals, we, you know, we got a few things that in case the house was not going to stand, there were certain things that we, we wanted to have. We filled up our cars and I remember that feeling when I said goodbye to the house and we went up the hill to a neighbor's house where it would be safe. And, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen consciously in my head. However, what I can tell you is I knew everything was fine. I knew, I knew we were taken care of. I knew in my being that everything was going to be okay. And, and we both carried that through every different step of the way, determining really in the moment, being present. What do we do next? What's the next decision to make? What's the next step that we can take? And that's the way that we continue to operate without drama, without um, you know this 
deep concern of you know whether our well-being was you know taken care of or not that just didn't really factor into this it was just more of okay logistically what do we do next what do we do next and we stayed incredibly centered when you say uh, it was a lovely experience for me when i say lovely i don't mean the experience itself but what went on internally showed me that what i was doing and the tools i was working with were very very real because when you watch how your mind works inside and what you go to i mean that's that's the truth of your reality and i was able to watch new things happen in me that really uh, felt wonderful inside. And I went, I am not as connected to my outside reality as I used to be. And I knew the reason why was because of the new tools that we were working with. And uh, it was a real test under fire for us to be shown the reality of what we were doing, that it was valid and that there was love there and there was consciousness there in everything we were doing because that's what was coming through in our life and, our, and in the lives of our children. It was, it was a sense of love. It was a sense of consciousness that everything is going to be fine and we don't have to take our lives so personally. You know, you can do it from a distance where just as Actually, I was thinking about it the week before. Uh, what is going on with these people in the world? They're going through major, major disasters. I wonder how they're coping with it. Mm -hmm. And then we went through a major disaster, and I saw, oh, there's a way of coping with it that it isn't like I'm going to survive this anyway. It's that it's not as consequential as I once believed. What's important is what I'm connected to inside. Mm -hmm. What's valuable in my life is what I'm experiencing inside. The reality of where I am in my life and where I'm going in my life is where I am on the inside of my being, at my heart of hearts. That's my reality that I know will survive anything on this planet and even survive the ending of this physical body because that's what I'm connecting to and it feels wonderful. There's, you know, there's something else that this experience has taught me is co-creation. I, I believe that as we've entered into 2014, it's so important to know ourselves as co-creators. And that means sometimes you have to drop what you see right now or what your expectations are or what's comfortable and what's not and instead move into this creative spirit and when we're working on the higher levels and we are connected to source what happens with cre with the creative spirit is it gets to be exciting like wow we are gifted with an opportunity now to co-create our environment. And, you know, take it another step. As people on this planet right now, we all can make choices in our lives that make a fundamental, um, that fundamentally will change the outcome of what is happening on this planet. The more people who are coming from the space of love and connection and feel you know, and create the field of love and respect and uh, compassion, that is dynamically changing this planet. We are creative beings. And we don't need to get tied in to what we see right now because, you know what, that's a fleeting moment. That was a big message that came through in this flood. How quickly everything can change. Change. And yet, when we drop our resistance to change and instead look at co-creation, then we can show up with our highest elements of who we are, our soul being, and come together and create 
a new world, new outcomes, new possibilities. So, and we're out as we're recording right now. We are. We have a um, a wonderful excavator that's outside, moving rocks and dirt and the river and creating a whole new sculpture of, of where we live. It's hilarious. You know, I, I always used to think, you know, well, you can't, there's that saying, you can't move a river. Well, you know what? We can. And we even get a chance to sit and say, well, where, where should we put the river? Where should we create this new flow? And what a gift that is when we can step up to who we really are. And that's what these activations help us do. That's what our tools are designed to do in connection with source, in connection with each other, and in focus of the good of all. It is truly amazing what we're here to co-create, Lauren. Wonderful, Gail and Gregory. We took a little sidetrack as we were going into our activations, but I do thank you for sharing that story because this is how we must move forward. We must. This co-creation and removal of the resistance, really. Um, I know in Colorado, the flood, many people still, I mean, it's been um, almost six months since the flood and people are still having a difficult time but not you two you said you use the word hilarious so this is really important <laughs> that we need to stay calm and confident we need to take responsibility for what we are creating in our lives and we must connect with the higher portions of ourself to bring that forth into our world. So thank you for sharing. We will stay focused here in the remainder of our online healing retreat. On the first activation, we will now experience connecting with your purpose. So Gail and Greg, any words as we enter into this activation? I would suggest that um, these activations are relaxation and uh, meditative practices and um, so enjoy these activations just let your body absorb let your spirit your your consciousness absorb what's here and um, it's a process one step at a time and you know in many places in these activations we're talking about uh, asking people to place the eye connect at a certain place on their body and if a person doesn't have the eye connect they can use um, perhaps a crystal uh, some kind of small sacred object it's uh, a lot of it is drawing upon your focus your intent your clarity so when you're asked to do something uh, and place it on a certain part of your body, work with your intent, perhaps even your hand, placing it on your throat, placing it on your heart, or wherever you're asked to bring attention to that aspect of your body and your emotional body so that energy can be moved, so that energy can be transformed and you can move to another level of beingness by allowing that energy to flow through your body. So we've got the image here as well. Perhaps you'll feel something with using this image. Okay, here we go, the first activation. We are delighted to bring to you a series of activations to use with your eye connect to clear, rejuvenate, and accelerate your life. The more you use these activations, the greater the benefits you will enjoy. So make time for yourself daily, or at least a few times each week, to engage with your eye connect and experience greater depth, love, connection, and joy. Activation 1 opens your awareness 
to remember yourself as an extraordinary individual in perfect relationship with the universe. As you engage with the eye connect, a frequency will deeply penetrate your physical being and stabilize a new expanding resonance for your soul's development as well as for the good of all. This activation is most comfortable in the restful state of lying on your back, placing the back side of your eye connect on the body as directed. Place the eye connect centered on your forehead and take several slow, deep breaths as you relax the muscles in your face, neck, shoulders, throat, arms, and fingers. Allow your body to enjoy this peaceful state. Release any tightness and open the space of your body by deeply experiencing your breath. Your breath leads you into a rhythm of relaxation and openness. Feel the penetrating relaxation moving down your body, through your chest, abdomen, hips, thighs, legs, feet and toes. Feel the expansiveness of your heart as you breathe with this rhythm and open the spaces within the cells of your body. They are spinning and dancing in joyful expression as their health is being restored. Bring the eye connect to the center of your chest. Your heart remembers who you are. Your divine relationship to the universe. Your heart anchors the advanced potential of every cell in your body balancing your perfect individual expression with your connection to all. A frequency of pure love encompasses you in a timeless manner, flowing between past, present, and future, weaving life's dimensions together. Your enhanced awareness plays on all levels with ease and joy. Your heart connects to your eternal soul expression. Be in this expansion of love and acceptance. Now take the eye connect and move it up the front of your neck to rest at the throat. As you activate this energy center, your expression of creativity resonates with the wisdom of your heart. Notice the relaxation and expansion of this area as you breathe. Next, take the eye connect back to the center of your chest, where your creative expression is fully connected with the heart. The peace of accepting yourself is the foundation of your being. Now move the eye connect under you to the base of your spine. This will ground and align the new energies. Feel the gentle flow up and down your spine as the cerebral fluid reaches into the nerves and fibers of this crystalline structure. Take several deep breaths to complete this activation. 
and prepare to re-enter waking consciousness. Move the eye connect from the base of the spine and place it in your hand. It will continue to work with you throughout the day. As you bring yourself back, wiggle your fingers and hands, gently move your feet, neck, and shoulders. When you're ready, open your eyes and slowly sit up. Enjoy the view. Beautiful. Connection to your purpose and creative spirit. Moving right along, our next activation is physical health. Enliven your cells. There's a couple of things that's happening to all of us. One of the, one of the, the issues is we're all aging. And another issue is that we're all going through a lot of shifts. The, the planet is shifting. There's so much happening. And as a result, it's important that we're allowing our body to be the benefactor of different things that we do, whether we're choosing to get massages or do acupuncture or, you know, do this morning I was dancing with an exercise program. It's, it's so important important to enable our bodies to keep up with what we're here to do. Um, Greg and I both feel like we're here for a long time. <laughs> as, we're, as we're growing and, and shifting, it's, it's just uh, one of our um, intentions is to allow our bodies to continue to get the nourishment that we need physically, spiritually, emotionally, do the things that help our cells spin at a higher frequency, take in the different shifts that are happening. And these tools, the iConnect and the new Heart Companion, are really important for helping the cells of the body become enlivened allow the DNA structure to take in these frequencies and use them in a way that are that's integrated into our bodies for our well-being. So this is an important one to work with the overall health and development of our physical body. And another thing to realize is that all of these activations are really reflections of one thing and that's the flow of energy from the source level of our being, the core level of our being, into our lives. So physical health is always a reflection of that energy flow. And wherever we have difficulty, whether it begins on the emotional level, sometimes it begins on the mental level, or some higher level, but when we see a difficulty in the physical dimension where there is something that is called disease or lack of health, it's some place where we've blocked or denied that flow of energy from source, where we've stopped the flow of love into our lives. And so everything that we're really talking about today and everything we're trying to do with these activations is to open up that flow of energy to allow higher aspects of ourself to come into the physical body that we see. And the more we can do that, the better our bodies are going to react, the better we're going to feel, the healthier we're going to be. So that's an important thing to really hold in context through all of what we're doing. It's that flow of energy from the higher parts of our being that we're welcoming into our lives. Loren, we also have, we've developed a, uh, a product that we're calling the Practitioner's Kit. And what it is is a set of 
seven iConnects, and the brand new ones that we're doing now, we're actually putting a stone in the center of it so that it helps to work with the frequencies of, of each chakra. And I've worked with a number of people. When you put all of the different eye connects on the body and you work intentionally to whether it's um, helping to advance to the next level, moving these energy blockages that can be problematic for our health, whatever is the focus, when we've got all these eye connects working together intentionally, it makes a huge difference. The connection to source is just fueling these portals to, to get regulated and release what needs to be released and move to the next level. So it, it's, it's pretty exciting, all the different things that we can do with energy and, and our, our physical well-being. Thank you for that. Now let's enjoy this 7-minute, 44-second activation, Physical Health, Enliven Yourself. We are delighted to bring you a series of activations to use with your eye connect to clear, rejuvenate, and accelerate your life. The more you use these activations, the greater the benefits you will enjoy. So make time for yourself daily, or at least a few times each week, to engage with your eye connect and experience greater depth, love, connection, and joy. Activation 2 brings advanced healing energies to yourself and your environment. When you are living at a higher frequency, you emanate a field that is stronger, more coherent, and positively affects everything around you. You can transform environments when the alignment and frequency band has sufficient integrity. This activation advances your capability and capacity to heal through love and respect for all. This activation is most comfortable in the restful state of lying on your back, placing the back side of your eye connect on the body as directed. Place the eye connect at the top of the head, the crown, and take several deep, slow breaths as you relax the muscles in your face, neck, shoulders, throat, arms, fingers. Allow your body to enjoy a peaceful state Release any tightness and open the space of your body by working with your breath. Your breath leads you into a rhythm of relaxation and openness. Your toes, feet, legs, thighs, hips, abdomen, are deeply relaxing. Feel the expansiveness of your heart as you breathe with this rhythm and open the spaces within the cells of your body. All the cells are spinning and singing in joyful expression to restore full health, your promise. Allow the enhanced energy at the top of the head to circulate through your body as it enlivens the cells. Within each cell is a divine encoding that instructs the cell's recreation. The frequency you experience awakens the memory of total health. Experience your body waking up to its memory of perfect health.
Bring the eye connect to the throat center. As you breathe out, allow sounds to be expressed through your voice. Your voice is a modulator of the vibrational energies that rejuvenate and revitalize physical matter. Now become silent and listen to the subtle sounds within. Move the eye connect to the heart center. This is where you reconnect to the wisdom of love that creates all life. Allow the flow of love to open your heart as you share your gifts. Notice your body responds to this with renewed health and vitality. Be aware of your environment glowing with more dynamic colors, inner strength, and peace. The air you breathe, water you drink, and earth you stand on is renewed and cleansing itself. Move the eye connect to the navel and breathe in. Remember your origin and allow yourself to heal and transform any imperfections you see from the beginning of your journey into the physical body. Take the eye connect back to the heart and rest here, centering in love. Now move the eye connect under you to the base of the spine. This will ground and align the new energies. Feel the gentle flow up and down your spine, messaging the central nervous system that all is well. Now take several deep breaths to complete this activation and prepare to re-enter waking consciousness. Move the eye connect from the base of the spine and place it in your hand. It will continue to work with you throughout the day. As you bring yourself back, wiggle your fingers and hands. Gently move your feet neck and shoulders. When you are ready, open your eyes and slowly sit up. Enjoy the view. Okay, that activation is a wonderful one that you can come back to. And we'll move right along now into one that is probably many people's favorite one, or most of interest, and this is prosperity. It's a great one. So many people who are on a spiritual path have sometimes diminished the importance of prosperity. And here we are on this planet. When I look around and I see this creation, it is so extraordinary. There are so many blessings. There's so much abundance here on this planet. And something that I, I always loved uh, from a seminar I had gone to, uh, Buckminster Fuller, who's uh, a mentor of mine, would say, you can come to the river with either a teaspoon or with um, a, a truckload of you know, capability to bring this back to you. It's your choice. 
you know, do you want to come in and embrace all that's here for you or just a little bit? It's a choice. And what this activation is doing is helping to open up that flow of consciousness, that flow of energy, so that we can expand our lives into prosperity and do it in a way that's for the good of all. So many of us have seen uh, money and what we've looked at as prosperity being misused and you know a lot of greed and all kinds of things out there that really have not been beneficial. That's not where we're coming from. This is about co-creation and the good of all, enabling ourselves to really go for what our lives are here for. And I personally believe that that spirit is really, you know, um, excited when we come with a full embrace and we say, yeah, I'm ready to play full on. And it's important to totally embody this energy and do this many times uh, you know during your week and sometimes even during your day because you know we often look at where we're lacking and look at what we want and that always keeps us in the lack and keeps us in the want but the more we feel fulfilled inside with that energy. The, that's where the richness comes from and to be in that space of richness all the time it, it is like we are totally embracing another reality uh, that's now our true reality which is the reality of being fulfilled constantly from that space inside, that love that's coming into our life that really is supporting us in such miraculous ways that that's where our prosperity comes from. It's being grateful um, uh, for that flow of energy into our lives. And another thing that I think is really an important perspective to hold is that when we are in that connection, we are starting to come from a place of beingness. And when we choose like to put out prosperity uh, that thought many people think oh I need money for the car or I need money for this or that and when you come from a place of beingness the way your life gets taken care of it's in a way that's not only supporting you it's supporting all of those around you it's the bigger picture it's being in service to everything and that's where we really want to come from. So when we come from that place of service to all, come from that place of I am really here to connect to my beingness, then the car gets taken care of, then the house gets taken care of, then everything else falls into place. But it's like they get taken care of after the core connection is made inside first of who you truly are and then you can do everything in the right order if that makes sense. Mm. Making the core connection. Beautiful. So here is Activation 3 Prosperity. Activation 3 strengthens your intent and develops an energetic field to enhance prosperity. This will direct you to share Earth's resources in a holistic manner, giving and receiving. As you gain greater appreciation in your relationships with people, the economy, and different cultures around the planet, the flow of abundance is expanded. We suggest you use these activations regularly to gain maximum benefits. As you consciously use your eye connect, you and those in your energy sphere will receive a new co-creative awareness for prosperity. A frequency will deeply penetrate your body and stabilize a powerful expanding resonance for your soul's development 
as well as for the good of all. This activation can be done sitting up or lying on your back, whatever is most comfortable for you, placing the back side of your eye connect on the body as directed. Hold the eye connect at the top of the head and take several slow, deep breaths as you relax the muscles in your face neck, shoulders, throat, arms, and fingers. Let your body enjoy this peaceful state as you release any tightness. Old patterns are loosened, allowing new frequencies to be established in your body. Feel the expansiveness of your heart as you breathe with this rhythm. The connection with your higher self replaces any limitations you may have held. Allow the flow of energy to reach deeply into your cells, relaxing your chest, abdomen, hips, thighs, legs, feet, and toes. This enlivening energy peacefully and easily circulates through your body, bringing renewed pleasure and confidence to your life. You can accomplish your purpose and are divinely supported. Feel the love. Bring the eye connect to the middle of the brow, third eye, awakening the remembrance of your connection to all. The gifts of this planet are many and are all here for you to enjoy and create magnificently. Your inner knowing reveals the ease and joy of playing with life's resources, generating greater well-being and love. Your mission is to reach out to the world, give your gifts and receive the abundance. Move the I connect to the heart chakra. Rest with the heart's knowledge and the vision of your higher purpose. Feel the flow of energy. The resonance is carrying you to higher levels of fulfillment. Breathe more life into this vision. Your confidence is expanding. Move the eye connect to rest at the solar plexus, just above the navel. This center activates your power and connection to the earth, helping you ground and manifest your vision while working with the heart vibration. You are ready to greet the world with strength, clarity of focus, trust, and compassion. Inspired by the spirit of community, you find your partners and manifest your vision. Experience the connections and acceptance. Now it is time to move the eye connect to the base of the spine. This will ground and align the new energies. Feel the gentle flow up and down your spine, bringing perfect balance to these new frequencies in your life.
take several deep breaths, completing this activation and prepare to re-enter normal consciousness. Move the eye connect from the base of the spine and place it between the palms of your hands in gratitude. It will continue to work with you throughout the day. As you bring yourself back, wiggle your fingers and hands. Gently move your feet, neck, and shoulders. When you are ready, open your eyes. Now that we are feeling prosperous in that co-creational level, we are going to now move into our fourth activation, expanding your heart space. So much of the way that our training has been oriented is to come from our, our mental, our mind. And it's more important now than ever to come from the heart. The heart is, is pure wisdom. And it's a practice. It's, I think that what we're doing is getting used to orienting ourselves from the heart. It's a more feminine aspect, so it's, in some ways it's, it's probably easier for women than for men. And it is time that the women, the feminine energy, is stepping forward and is you know, the, the forefront of the shifts on the planet. So the heart space is the place that we're growing in. It's the place where we're learning to trust the heart as opposed to trying to figure everything out. The truth is everything is shifting so quickly that our brains can't do it. And our heart has a knowing. And so this activation is supporting you to know your heart, know the wisdom of the heart, and trust following that so that your life can be oriented in that true flow and the connections that come from the heart. You know, when we're talking about the heart, we're not just talking about that organ inside our chest, and we're not just talking about the emotional aspects of our being, but we're talking about the core of all that is, the heart of hearts, the connection to soul, the connection to our higher self, that co-creative aspect that is capable of running the brain and directing this body. And when we can direct this body from that higher knowing, then we can be in the right relationship with all that is so that the wisdom of right action can truly, truly be displayed. And so that's the importance of expanding your heart space. It's really expanding your inner wisdom. It's expanding your inner connection. Because when we talk about higher dimensions, when we talk about the universe, when we talk about angelic presences and all these things, we often think of all of this being out there in the universe. Well, in truth, it's all at the core of your being. You get to God, you get to truth, you get to love, whatever you want to call it, through going into yourself, going into your heart space. Go into your center, and that's where everything exists. Here is Activation 4 expands your heart space. Activation 4 prepares you to expand your heart space. When you are in pure connection with spirit, a consistent flow of love is offered for your full acceptance. 
limitations, struggle, and disease are a manifestation of denying this natural flow of universal love. With this love, your body, mind, spirit, and life are nourished and elevated. This activation helps to repair the breakdown and renew the connection of all that is love. As you consciously use your I Connect, you and those in your energy sphere will be bathed in an expanded presence of love. A frequency will deeply penetrate your body and stabilize a powerful expanding resonance for your soul's development as well as for the good of all. This activation can be done sitting up or lying on your back, whatever is most comfortable for you. Placing the back side of your eye connect on the body as directed. Hold the eye connect about two inches above the crown chakra at the top of the head. In a slow, clockwise manner, move the eye connect, spiraling the energies into the crown, making three rotations. While you're doing this, breathe in. Slowly bring the eye connect to the thymus area between the throat and the heart. This activates the glandular systems to accept the frequencies of love and gratitude. Breathe and relax the chest as you expand into a peaceful state. Feel the flow of loving energy bathing your upper torso as you breathe. Allow that energy to descend into your arms, hands, lower torso, legs, and feet. This energy is spiraling through you and grounding you lovingly to the earth. Move the eye connect to the solar plexus and let it rest here. Be aware of any doors that want to open. It's safe now to open these channels to pure, loving, universal energy. You are ready for this and are supported to know yourself within the pure connection of love. This is all there is and it is you. Move the eye connect to the base of the spine, drawing the energies down throughout your body and opening your connection to Mother Earth. This flow is rooting you to your divine remembrance and relationship with the Earth. Continue to breathe. Bring the eye connect to rest at the heart, center of all good. You are one in pure love. Send out this love to all around you in the universe, all forms of life.
As you are doing this, you remember yourself as a being of pure love and this vibration generates for the good of all. As you accept yourself, you give and receive. Separation is replaced with connection, relationship, unity. Breathe. Take the eye connect back to the crown chakra at the top of the head and breathe in a rhythmic flow that circulates the energy throughout your body. The divine connections are stabilizing Breathe down to the root chakra at the base of the spine and connect deeply with Mother Earth. Now you are ready to complete this activation. Place the eye connect between the palms of your hands in gratitude. Feel the vibration pulsing through your body. Take a deep cleansing breath and when you are ready, open your eyes. Wonderful to expand the inner wisdom of our heart and expand our inner connection. Now we're going to move into Activation 5, Increase Your Intuition. It's interesting, uh, Loren, these activations came through in an order. And so there actually is a purpose be behind starting at number one and moving along. And uh, I couldn't actually get the words and write these activations until certain things were in place. And increasing intuition is the next step. After we've done some of these other activations, we've expanded our heart space, then the next piece is to listen to the wisdom. The wisdom within, the wisdom that connects us to source moment to moment. And when we can operate our lives from that place of honoring that, that brilliance, that little voice, listen intently, not with skepticism, instead with honor and uh, embracing the quality of living multidimensionally, because intuition really is the connection with all that is. And so this activation is helping people with developing that quality and learning to listen, learning to honor that, that voice, that sound, or sometimes it's just even watching what shows up in our lives so that we see life differently and then we take actions differently. We're not reacting, we're proactive instead. It's so different for all of us the way intuition comes into our lives and we really have to discover who we are and what's right for us. Sometimes we'll see someone that seems to tune in through the way, the way they hear things like Gail keeps talking about listening and using that verb or sometimes it's feeling and sometimes it's just knowing. Always it's allowing. 
it's accepting. Accepting what is, because universe wants to constantly support us and constantly give us what it is we need. And so often we miss what is being offered because we're going so strongly toward what we think we want or what we think we should be doing or the way we think it should happen. But when we can be in that quiet resting space inside of the core of our being and can watch the next person that calls, the next book that flops open to a certain page, you know, just all those curious things that have happened in our lives to let us know that we're truly being loved and we're truly being played with all the time. And we're just part of a bigger picture. And when we can discover the importance of the part we're playing by allowing and accepting, it can become such a joy to be alive and to be in the body that we're inhabiting and know that every step we take, every action that we take, it's an action and a step of significance. And it is really valuable, not only for ourselves, but for all of us and for all those around us to be clear in that each step is the important step and the next step we should be taking. And you know what's actually fun? When I think about intuition, I think about little children. Little kids are um, they are using their intuition because they haven't developed language, they haven't developed all the mental skills and they don't have the life experience. So they are saying things to us sometimes because they are working on these creative levels with different spirit guides and all kinds of stuff. So it's fun because when I look at children playing with it, there's, there's enthusiasm, you know, which is spirit within. There is joy. There is, you know, the thrill of creation. So this is an opportunity to take us to that place within each one of us of connecting back again with the child inside who knows this so well and who has so much to offer. You know, one other thing that came to mind when Gail was saying that was that everything that comes into our life in, in terms of intuition and what should be our next step and what we should be doing and how we should interact with things, it always is in alignment with the higher feelings of love, the higher feelings of joy, the higher feelings of service, and that nothing ever goes against uh, our own moral sense or nothing is ever um, asking us to exclude anything or anyone or nothing is, is, it doesn't want to create separation, it wants to create unity, that higher flow. And so we can always measure the value of our intuition in terms of are we feeling connection, are we feeling love, are we feeling respect, are we feeling inclusion. And when we do notice those things in our life, we know that we're on the right track and higher self uh, is alive and well in us because you feel the joy of it, you feel the love of it. And um, that's why, you know, fear blocks that flow and separation, negativity and judgment block that flow. And so those are all points for us to catch ourselves on to allow those aspects of our being not to have as much sway, the parts that are judging, the parts that are feeling separate, the parts that are feeling sad or angry or negative in that sense, working with fear. Those are the parts that are flowing away now. Wonderful. So get ready, everyone. Going into that quiet resting space to tap into your inner wisdom. This is about 15 minutes. Enjoy.
Activation 5 broadcasts a frequency that establishes an upgraded connection with your soul vibration. It naturally strengthens your intuitive capabilities. It is increasingly important to listen to inner knowing for guidance. As you refine your ability to recognize and accept the validity of this expanded awareness, it will become an honored part of your life. Intuition is the most natural aspect of consciousness because it is a direct connection with the Divine Self, the most basic part of every human being, your core, your center, your soul. Our social programming and educational system has often denied the importance of intuition. Taking these sacred moments on a regular basis will help restore and grow this innate and precious part of you. Consciously using your eye connect will enable you to ground and grow various aspects of your being that are ready to flourish. A frequency will deeply penetrate your body and stabilize a powerful expanding resonance for your intuitive development as well as for the good of all. This activation can be done sitting up or lying on your back, whatever is most comfortable for you, placing the back side of your eye connect on the body as directed. Hold your eye connect at the top of the head and take several slow, deep breaths as you relax the muscles in your face, neck, shoulders, throat, arms, and fingers. Let your body enjoy this peaceful state. Breathe in deeply, nourishing every cell of your body and opening connections with Source. Feel the relaxation reaching into the core of your body. heart, glands, digestive system, the organs of your body are feeling enlivened. As you release tightness, Limitations and doubts are also released, allowing new frequencies to be established in your body. This builds trust with your higher knowing. Move the eye connect to the center of your chest. Feel the expansiveness of your heart as you open to the potential of this clear connective stream of consciousness. Feel the flow of love that is an essential part of this umbilical cord to your soul. Allow this flow of energy to bathe you 
in deep trust, relaxing your chest, abdomen, hips, thighs, legs, feet, and toes. Feel the peaceful quality as this energy circulates through your body, bringing renewed pleasure and confidence. Receive. Accept. Allow your inner voice to grow. You acknowledge the wisdom of the guidance you receive and are divinely supported. You are filled with gratitude. Let it radiate from your heart center. Bring the eye connect to the middle of the brow, third eye. This deepens the remembrance of your connection to all. Feel a smooth flow of energy penetrating the third eye chakra. This opens the intuitive channels and develops deeper appreciation and trust of your growing awareness. Your connection to Source has always been constant. Now you are clearing the channels to expand your ability to utilize this higher sense in practical and meaningful ways. Breathe as you allow yourself to embrace, trust, hear, and access the truth of intuitive knowing. Throughout each day, you are now relying on this higher dimensional sensitivity. It inspires you and directs you for your highest good as well as the good of all. Listen to the wisdom and remember this is for expanding your life in love. Move the eye connect to the throat, your center of communication. This is the center of outward expression and inward hearing. It is a rhythmic flow in and out like your breath. Expand your capacity to open new frequency channels of your hearing. listening deeply with your opened heart 
enlivens your connections and broadens the appreciation you feel. Limiting filters from the past are released as you welcome the fullness of your divine knowledge. Your intuition relies on listening intently with great respect. The energies centered at the throat chakra are being cleared of impediments. It is a joy to engage in communications that express love of all, enhancing your life purpose. Your truth is clearly spoken and received. Notice a new vibrational energy circulating around your ears and throat. Listen to the subtle sounds. Feel the blessing, feel the gratitude that your inner knowing now has a clear path to integrate into your life. Move the eye connect to the solar plexus just above the navel. Breathe and center with the energies that are enhancing your relationships to all. The purity and potency of trust is deeply embedded in your being. Keep breathing fresh energy into the lower centers of your body. They are stabilizing the energy shift. Now it is time to move the eye connect to the base of the spine. This will ground and harmonize the new energies. Feel the gentle flow up and down your spine bringing perfect balance to these new frequencies in your life. Take several deep breaths, completing this activation and prepare to re-enter normal consciousness. Move the eye connect from the base of the spine and place it between the palms of your hands in gratitude. It will continue to work with you throughout the day. As you bring yourself back, wiggle your fingers and hands Gently move your feet, neck, and shoulders. When you are ready, open your eyes. Connecting to source moment to moment. As we come to activation six, this one is called Take Your Next Steps. As we head into it, please explain more of what that means. 
many of us are feeling called, called to be in our purpose. And, and even if, you know, we don't actually feel that, we're, every moment we have a new opportunity. We can expand who we are, we can develop, we can reach out, we can have more joy and more love and more prosperity in our lives. And yet, change is one of the things that people fear. It, it is um, stepping into the unknowing. And what this activation and also what our tools are doing to support you with is to embrace that next step, to be grateful for what is coming into our lives, to know that we are honing ourselves up so that we're capable of making the very best out of it, not only for ourselves, but for everyone. So this is an activation that's helping us allow the next steps to be taken gracefully, easily, in a joyful way. When we know that we're connected, it will feel good. We're not feeling like, how am I going to make it happen? This isn't about muscling through things. This is about connecting in with our spiritual buddies, with our physical buddies, with, um, with ourselves individually, and being able to use the, the experience of our lives, use the creative spirit that we have, and be present in the moment. Keep showing up with the most that we can be, you know, being spiritual warriors. It's being prepared. And yet, it doesn't have to be being prepared in a way of, you know, like a tight stance, but graceful, with ease, with a, a sense of knowing that it's, it's all going to be amazing and wonderful. Sometimes we think that um, when you're in the right space, that that ease and grace means that it's um, easy and graceful on the outside. And sometimes it's not so easy. It's a lot of work. And it takes continual effort and focus. I mean, just what we've gone through with this land. We have to keep, keep working on it. But the ease and grace is what you're feeling inside. It's I once got this fortune cookie that said, a happy person, um, and now I'm going to paraphrase it, I can't remember it, but bottom line, it's a happy person doesn't always have happy things um, on the outside happen to them. You know, it's something that comes from the inside again. And so that, again, is the important thing to understand. The ease you're feeling is internal. The grace you're feeling is the support of the universe behind you. But often, you have to get up, get out of bed, and you have to do the work. And that's what builds your spiritual muscle. That's what builds your resolve. That's your opportunity to grow as a human being. And inside, you know that you are absolutely cradled in perfection and that you are able to bring that perfection to bear in an imperfect world. Because this is a reality that we're facing that's a physical reality where things don't always work out as planned or as expected. But when we continually move at all of this from that place of, of pure grace and ease inside, then it becomes a game. We're just playing the game out we're just doing our service. We're serving the higher aspects of our being and the higher aspects of everyone we're coming in contact with. Although things may look like a little chaotic on the outside, inside is where the truth is being truly expressed. And people feel that. Just like a dog or an animal that's around you will feel you when you're in that place of calm in your center or if you're in a place of fear, they'll know that they have, in essence, permission to attack you because they don't want fear around either. But when you're in the core of your being, 
that's strong, nothing can attack you, nothing can throw you off center, and you're able to keep going at everything that needs to be done around you in a way that's totally in right order. Very well said. So here is activation six. Take your next step. You are now ready to experience activation six. Preparing for your next steps with ease and grace. Through the clearing and activations you have been practicing, life becomes a natural flow. You see the wisdom of events and aspects of your life with true gratitude and acceptance. All is perfect. Impediments are diminishing and you feel ready to step forward. You are grateful for all you have and all that is coming into your life. This activation can be done sitting up or lying on your back, whatever is most comfortable for you. Placing the back side of your eye connect on the body as directed. Hold the eye connect at the top of the head and take several slow, deep breaths as you relax the muscles in your face, neck, shoulders, throat, arms and fingers. Let your body enjoy this peaceful state. Engage with the feelings. As you let go of tightness, limitations and doubts are also released. This allows new frequencies to be established in your body, strengthening your soul's presence. You are aligning the body with mind and spirit. Breathe in deeply. This nourishes every cell of your body and opens you further to connecting with Source. Feel the relaxation that reaches into the core of your body, heart, glands, digestive system, spine, legs, feet and toes. All the organs of the body feel the blessing of renewal. You are relaxed and ready to proceed. Move the eye connect to your heart chakra. Now is the time to experience a deep sense of forgiveness. We can move gracefully when we are grounded in total acceptance. No hesitation. To experience this state, it is necessary to invite the vibrational energy of forgiveness. All words, thoughts, and past experiences are no longer relevant to this present moment. 
What is now important is the energetic connection entering the space of your heart for complete forgiveness. Breathe in. This frequency supports you to accept your soul and all its expressions that have ever been and ever will be in all dimensions of life. This remembrance is in your heart, an amazing chamber for soul presence. Breathe into the heart chakra, using your eye connect as a divine tool to clear and activate your connections to the spirit of love. Stay with this energy. Allow an ecstatic feeling to emanate from within and outward to the world. Powerful waves of forgiveness and acceptance are activating your life as you breathe. Enjoy the freedom you feel as you get to know yourself at new levels. In this state, you are ready and prepared to live life fully and easily. Move the eye connect to the third eye chakra. Engage your enhanced intuitive capabilities. You are in a space of timelessness where you can play and relate to many dimensions. You are fully present with your expanded capabilities. Feel the joy of flowing effortlessly into your future. Within the frequency generated at your third eye, Rest into the awareness of your next steps. Allow your imagination and intuition to show you and speak to you about your greater purpose next steps.
Feel confident in allowing yourself to reach your potential. Now move the eye connect to rest at your throat. Enhancing your connection to divine expression. Your hearing and inner knowing are heightened. This builds a blueprint within your consciousness that you are becoming more aware of. You are ready and appreciate the opportunities that are on the way. You feel gratitude and acceptance of all that is. Move the eye connect to the solar plexus above the navel and allow your energy field to grow. You are integrating the vision and awareness of your next steps. Greater illumination is fertilizing the seeds and setting the foundation for successful manifestation. Feel the support of the universe in each step you take. You are joyful and peaceful in this state. You are centered in knowing that all is well. As you breathe, the flow is enhanced. You have greater clarity and awareness. Continue breathing into the core of your body as you fortify these energies. Now move the eye connect to the base of the spine, drawing the energies down through your body opening your connection to Mother Earth, grounding your intent, and rooting you to your life on Earth. Breathe. Now you are ready to complete this activation. Place the eye connect between the palms of your hands in gratitude. Feel the vibration pulsing throughout your body. Take a deep cleansing breath and when you are ready, open your eyes. Okay. So these activations are really powerful and they support your work with the iConnect. This iConnect is a wonderful tool in 
my interview with Gregory last summer, I was amazed that muscle testing proved immediately how effective the iConnect is. Now, in my own life, before we got together with this event, to produce this event, I was with the both the heart pendant, and I'll put this image up now. Your heart companion is a new tool that you have. So you allowed me to wear the heart pendant, and so I had both the heart pendant and the iConnect on for the last couple of days. First off, I felt the first day my whole energy shifted. Now, these times that we're in, I've been experiencing a lot of releases of old belief systems that now I can see have been holding me back in certain ways. And so with the iConnect, the day that I put it on, I got it on Wednesday. Today is Sunday. Wednesday night, I was not, um, I didn't want to be in the usual pattern. There was extra energy that I had. So I came up to my keyboard and I created a nine minute musical piece that I just felt I had good connection with and it seemed like it was almost channeled. So I found that really fascinating. Then the next day, the next two days, I just, again, I had extra energy. I um, didn't expect to go running. I ran an extra couple of miles off my regular routine. Um, one day I went to just take my dog out to go around the block and we just started to go running. So that was interesting. Also, the clarity and the ease that I felt in my daily routine was much smoother. It's almost as if because we're connected in this way, we are able to get more things done in less amount of time. Now, here's an interesting note. This morning, I woke up, and it's Sunday, and we're going to be working with this event. I forgot to put the iConnect in my pocket and to put my pendant on. So when I came to my office and in the 3D world getting ready for the day and the work ahead of me, I checked out my email and so there was a frustration that someone was having with the download. And these are typical things. But what I noticed in hindsight, after the next event I'm going to tell you about, is that um, because I, I didn't have these tools with me in my space, the energy that was projected from this email into my space, I didn't have my fortitude or my fortification from these tools. And my husband came into my office, and instead of reacting in a way that was calm and ease and grace, the energy from that email was immediately projected out into um, my reaction with him as he asked me a question about something and then hit because of my reaction it just escalated into something that was not good energy and so you know taking responsibility in in these instances we have to stop and see what was that get that out of there and then you know a few minutes later I realized I don't have the eye connect so that was just interesting, and that's my story with both of these items. It, it's so interesting, a um, couple of things. One is that when you talk about focus, um, what so many people, ourselves included, have found is that it is so different to stay focused, to stay on task. The dynamic of focus is so important because there's a tremendous amount of distraction that I know in the past used to be completely overwhelming to me. Mm -hmm. And it's not. I'm amazed at how much I get done and how good it feels because I'm staying focused. And it's so natural. It doesn't, even, it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything. It's just the way that my days go. It's dynamically different. Um, you know, another thing too is, you know, we're not perfect. We're working on 
evolving ourselves and we're going to keep falling through the cracks sometimes. I find though, and other people have said this as well, that with our technology they catch themselves so much faster. And like what you said, when you realized that you'd kind of gone off on a path that you didn't really want to go down, you were able to look out and say, wow, what's going on? And then bring the awareness in. Bring the tools back to get you back on track. And I'll bet you got yourself back on track pretty easily, wouldn't you say? Yes. I uh, went to go get my tools. <laughs> yeah, and it helps. Um, <laughs> but you're right. It's exactly that awareness and that connection you know, it really comes down to, again, like we've talked about, it's the responsibility of our co-creation. And when we feel scattered, it is true, we can get distracted in so many ways. So um, that clarity and that focus is wonderful. So we have an activation, too, with this heart companion. And on this web page that you're watching this video on, you can go and purchase and connect and learn more about both of these items. This particular item, the heart pendant, we've got another activation. This one is 12 minutes long. And tell us a little bit about the two different sides because you can turn both. Of, this is one side. This figure on the left is one side and the figure on the right is the back side. And you can, and they're both different. Explain more. Okay. Not only are they different um, images uh, and and patterns that move the energy differently, but there are different gems that go on the surface of the eye connect on both sides. I mean, what we're seeing on the on the on the heart companion, excuse me, and what we're seeing on the screen right now, uh, what you've shown, Loren, is an emerald on the star face, the one with all the stars, and on what we call the earth face, the one with that football shape, which is really uh, a vesica Pisces. It's, it's the divine feminine. That's a citrine on that side right now. Now, depending on which side you put toward your body, the one with the vesica Pisces, the football shape, when that's toward your body, the energy is going to be moving more into your heart, into the earth. It's going to be feeling more grounding. It's going to give you more of a connection to the physical and be feeling relaxed and connected to the earth, Mother Earth. When you have the star toward your body, think of your head going up into the stars. You're going to feel more higher connection. You're going to feel more mental acuity. At times when you're wanting to work with uh, doing paperwork, driving, some physical activity that takes a lot of mental clarity and focus, then the star toward your body is going to support that process. And the gems, there are up to 14 gems that can be put on one of these pieces, um, the heart companion. And what the gems do is when you have energy moving through all the antenna systems that are going on with these tools, there are probably 35 internal antenna systems and uh, we put it in a chamber that adds um, energy from sound, working with inert gases, working with a whole number of other things and moving forms, spinning vortexes, all of this adds energy to this piece. But the gems, what happens is their gift to us is that they will take the energy on the, um, on the level that is on the etheric around the body, the astral level, and that's where we, um, a person that sees um, astral fields and so forth, they see colors, the gemstones will move that energy into the body, into the physical. And depending on the color of the gemstone, that reacts to 
different chakras within our body. So the body is like a rainbow. We can think of the crown being violet and then the base of the body, the root chakra, being red. So moving from red, orange the second chakra, citrine is the third chakra, the solar plexus, emerald is at the heart, and blue sapphire at the throat, and so on, all the way up. So we have ways that people can choose their gemstones or choose which of the um, different pendants that we're making that are already pre-made for people with either, as you can see now, all the gemstones on it to open all the chakras or make them available to the different energies simultaneously. So the body is at choice in what it wants to do in terms of going into this chakra when I need this help or if I need more help mentally I can do that with the higher stones that are gemstones that are available. So having a lot of gemstones just gives more choice and people will feel more energy coming through because of that. But we do have several that have just one gem on either side working with some of the main issues that people want to work on. You know, working with the emerald, working with the heart and opening the heart and that abundance and love and integrating a lot of the new energies right now, working with blue sapphire for the throat, about 75% of all the women I see or muscle test have issues around their throat and speaking their truth and being heard. It's very important that the feminine be heard today and so that's why that's such a large issue in the feminine community to work with communication, work with their throats and be able to project that energy into the world. This is a very powerful piece. We've been designing this for, um, gosh, months Over and months and months. <laughs> and it was very exciting to me when we finally got our model out. And it wasn't the, the, the finished, finished piece yet, but the model that had all the inner workings and the gemstones. And then we put it in our chamber so that it went through its process of activation. And when Greg brought them out and we held this, we had this silk pouch that we put all of our eye connects and, and pendants into in the activation chamber and held this. And it was profound what we were feeling. So of course I couldn't wait to put it on and wear it. And it was powerful and I'm used to these energies. And it was very, very, very powerful, even to the point where I noticed that I actually, after like maybe 20 minutes or so, I actually took it off and took a little break and then put it back on again and <laughs> did that several times until I acclimated to the energy. And there are people who don't feel energy who've been putting these on, and they do. Now, Everyone's different. Some people feel things, some people don't, so it's not, you know, the most important factor. The most important factor is what is this going to do in your life? And, you know, that's why these activations are very connected to what these products do. These tools increase focus, increase our capability to manifest. And so we want to be more clear about what we are manifesting. So increasing our focus, fostering our intuition, and our creativity is extremely important so that we're really, we're, we're in the creative mode, the co-creative mode. And the next thing that we want is we want relationships that are really meaningful. So these tools, this pendant, those are some of the qualities that these tools, the, both the um, iConnect and the Heart Companion, are mastering, helping us master, um, expanding our energetic range. Uh, there are certain people who, when someone comes into a room, you kind of notice them. 
because they have a presence. And so these tools, the Heart Companions, helps us with expanding our presence, our ability to be a divine expression of who we are, and accessing our awareness so that we can become more present and master our lives in greater and greater ways. And so these are wonderful, wonderful tools. And I know for me, once I have gotten acclimated to feeling the energy, then I don't really so much feel it. It's not that it's not working. It's really working. Watch what's happening in your life. Okay, so we do have an activation with this one. Tell us a little bit about this activation. This is an activation that is designed specifically for working with the Heart Companion. And again, just like, Loren, you were saying before to people, if you don't have any of our products yet, we have pictures that are, that are being shown to you now. Just imagine that you can interact with this energies. We've had people that once they've purchased our products, they tell us that the products are already starting to work for them just in anticipation of receiving it. They're already connecting with that, with that tool. I would agree with that. I felt it come in the mail. <laughs> it's very interesting because we are connected on these larger levels. And sometimes, again, these are all tools that just in the physical, we often need um, tools to remind us, to support us, as a hammer would help you build a house. But when you're done, you're the one that built the house. And these are tools that support you in moving energy. And once you start allowing for that to be in your life, it's like it already is. Right from that moment of your acceptance, that moment of your allowing, it shows up. The energy starts flowing. There's no time or space that separates. And I'm amazed. I, I see it again and again with people that say, can this be real? Could I really be feeling this? Because all I did was say yes, and all of a sudden something's going on there uh, in my life that's really shifting. And so your intent is the most powerful thing in the universe that really focuses the energies of the universe into your life. So it's so important that your intent is coming from the right level of beingness, the right place of consciousness. So the love that you are opening to is what you are truly wishing for in your life. And uh, when we start out with less in our belief systems and we start out feeling crippled, you know, that's the way we limp into life. And so it's so important to just release all of that today and just start realizing that we're in this together and there is so much love and respect we all have for each other. No matter who we are, where we are, what we've been going through, we are all so connected at the heart as physical human beings and that nobody is going to get anywhere faster than anyone else. We're all doing this as a group uh, spirit and that's the excitement and the uh, opportunity of this time to work together uh, in a shared heart space and that's the importance of the heart companion to bring that understanding more and more into our lives on a mental level so we can accept it on a physical feeling level and that's what's going to start coming through. In this particular activation we captured the energy of the uh, heart companion and we included that energy in with the activation and uh, the person that enfolded it for us, I was talking to him the other night he said, this is one of the strongest energy fields of anything he's ever felt in terms of being able to enfold that energy into 
uh, an energetic process and, and have it laid behind some words and some music. Well then, let's take a listen. This is our last activation, Activation 7, and you've got the image on the screen, and here we go. Enjoy. In this activation, we are broadcasting the frequencies of the Heart Companion for you to experience the benefits of this sacred geometric tool. At the basis of sacred geometry is the recognition of the creative essence. Through the divine organizing principles of creation, we build a pathway for the soul by consciously using sacred geometric tools, a field grows that addresses the core of who we are, love. If you have a heart companion, wear the pendant with the star side facing your heart chakra, the core of your being. If you don't have one yet, be open to receiving the energies we are sending your way. The Heart Companion strengthens a link between Source and you. The energy being broadcast will begin to raise your frequencies to engage with a greater flow, allowing you to center your awareness from the heart. As the Heart Chakra receives this upgraded flow, you may feel the desire to release tension, emotions, and energies that limited your ability to embrace the true wisdom and beauty of your heart. We support you to release constrictions by working with your breath, allowing forgiveness in its place. If the energy becomes too intense, switch the direction of the pendant so the earth face is towards your body. Take several slow, deep breaths as you relax the muscles in your face, neck, shoulders, throat, arms, and fingers. Allow your eyes to gently close. Let your body enjoy this peaceful state. Breathe in deeply nourishing every cell of your body, opening connections to source. Feel the relaxation reaching into the core of your body, heart, glands, digestive system. The organs of your body are feeling enlivened. As you release tightness, limitations and doubts are also released, allowing new frequencies to be established in your body. This builds trust with your higher knowing. Focus on the center of your chest. Feel the expansiveness of your heart as you open to the potential of your heart leading the way for your life. Allow this flow of energy to bathe you in deep trust. Relaxing your chest abdomen, hips, 
thighs, legs, feet, and toes. Feel the peaceful quality as this energy circulates through your body, bringing delightful pleasure and confidence. Receive, accept, allow your inner voice to grow. Listen to that voice. It is easy now. Acknowledge the wisdom of the guidance you receive. You are divinely supported. You are filled with gratitude. Let it radiate from your heart center. You are connected to Source. This is who you are. The Heart Companion helps you establish a strong, continual alignment with Source to welcome this radiance of love. Feel and know the steady stream of Source energy. Remember that all is perfect and possible. Your life is for the good of all, which includes you as well. Listen to your intuition and trust your inner guidance. Open your heart to yourself, others, and Mother Earth. You may feel a tingling at the throat chakra as you activate inner knowing to express your greater purpose. The constrictions from earlier conditioning to live by the standards of others are melting away. Enjoy the freedom of allowing your true voice to be spoken. Feel the joy as your heart and throat are in sync with source energy. All actions springing from this center are in right order, in service to all that is. When soul entered your body to initiate life, the brain was a clean slate. When your parents looked into your eyes as an infant, they saw your light and brilliance. The purity and power of love freely emanated from the beauty of your fresh, precious life. The words weren't there, yet you knew everything. Your consciousness was focused on your sole mission of love. The energy field around you reverberated with love, engaging others through sheer energy vibration. This is who you are. These are your roots. Through life experience and accumulated data, at the core of your being is love. The wisdom of the heart is the most advanced and trusted aspect of every life. Now you can center your life and interact with everyone around you from the heart, the core of your being. When the coherent vibration is one of love, compassion, and co-creation, this frequency resounds in 
every aspect of your life and your world. You are co-creating a new universe. These energies will continue to grow throughout the day. Feel the gentle flow of energy integrating these frequencies into your life. Bring your awareness to pure gratitude. Take several slow, deep breaths completing this activation and prepare to re-enter normal consciousness. As you bring yourself back, wiggle your fingers and your hands. Gently move your feet, neck and shoulders. When you are ready, open your eyes. Well, we've been on a wonderful journey today with these activations. Feel free to come back and use them again. You did mention earlier, Gregory, that, that we can use them again because it just continues to fortify. It's like a drop of water that carves a canyon. It really is important to continually move into this new pattern that you're creating in your life and that you're starting to create. Uh, a new habit, if you will, that is really supporting you, that is feeling good. And the activations can be so lovely to just float into, to feel your body lighten and to feel your cells and your organs internally start to wake up and enliven and allow that energy to flow. So people are able to come back to these and use them as many times as they would like and if they want to ever try it with one of the tools they're welcome to do that actually we guarantee it 100 percent everything that we made so if people want to try something and then feel that it isn't serving them they can return it for a full refund we always do that with everything so people need to have that personal experience to see how their life is transforming uh, before they can make a decision and we're happy to support them in that we're also happy if they want to call us to put things into a um, a payment schedule where we don't charge uh, interest for this but we just break it into the number of payments that works for them and we're happy to let them have the um, the product either the heart companion the eye connector both of them because they're both so wonderful to use and a little different from each other it's important to be able to have them right away and then over time um, people can pay a little bit per month and we can work that all out if they call us directly. You know, some people will ask, why, why do I need a tool? We're all doing so much and we're working on building our consciousness. And my response to that is that it just makes it easier. It makes it more accessible. It takes me further. 
I can do more when I've learned how to use a tool well. You know, any tool in and of itself is just a tool. The real magic is when you start working with it, how it activates your life. And I know a lot of people that have our iConnects, and when they leave their house, they make sure that a couple things that they have with them are their phone and their iConnect. They don't want to leave home without it. And, and that's true for me, too. When I wake up in the morning, and you know, after I've showered and put my clothes on, the most important thing that I do next is put on my, my pendant and my eye connect. And then I feel like, you know, I am I'm fortified. <laughs> I'm centered. I'm I'm ready for the day and whatever it presents. And since we created these these um the eye connect and now the pendant, I must say that our lives have just been transforming in extraordinary ways. Our relationship has deepened a lot. Our children seem like they're getting better. <laughs> <laughs> we're and handling them better. We're handling them better. And you know, and it's not that everything is always perfect because it's not. It's that it, I mean it is perfect. It is perfect actually, but it may not be the way that I thought perfection was. Instead, what happens is I can stand back, I can re-enter in a more positive way, a more proactive way, and I don't take things quite as seriously. I found that fear is just, it just doesn't exist around us anymore. It is so diminished and so uh, minor, and instead, what happens is that focus of what am I here for? What am I choosing to create? What do I want to develop now? What is the co-creation that my life is really about? And uh, I just feel that there's so much blessing in, in my life. I am so grateful. And having these tools has supported that process so that I am developing more and more. And that's what it's doing for people. It is supporting their transformation, their mastery in life, their ability to express their, their true potential. And uh, I, I just really feel blessed to be able to have the opportunity to bring something forth with my husband that makes a difference in people's lives. You know, it's like being a small child again, a small child in the wonder of the universe. It's feeling the joy of just being alive and waking up and going, what am I going to create today? There are all the old patterns to still deal with, but they can be dealt with in a way that's exciting. There can be just something where I don't take things so personally and I look at the bigger picture and I see that things are unfolding in ways where universe wants to interact with me and I'm open to how universe wants to interact. So that's the excitement of discovery. It's the excitement of you know seeing things that I haven't seen before and that's what it is to be like a little child where you're discovering new things, you're feeling good about what's going on in your life, and you're just playing, you're having fun. And when you play, I used to have this thing behind my desk in college, when you play, you are as you are. There's no pretense. And that's the truth of what's happening. We're getting into the core of our true being and being able to express that to the world. And what comes back to you is something that is truly supportive and feels so good to be part of humanity that's growing. This is the evolution we've been looking for for so many years, and it's unfolding now. We're moving into a higher state of being on this planet, and for those that choose that path, it's a path of 
uh, total joy and love, and it's real. It really, really is real because you can experience it in your life. And that's what we're saying. <laughs> These tools have helped us, and we're putting them out to support others to see how their lives can transform. And they don't have to be stuck at the end of their life in what they thought was the end of their life, but it's a rebirth. It's a time to be reborn into who you truly are. And you know when it's real because you feel the joy behind it. What incredible information, Gregory and Gail Hogue. Thank you so much for these activations. We hope that you'll share with us, those listening, your experience of these activations. And if you'd like to get your spiritual tool and connect to this higher, great energy with these tools, just click on the links on this page. Thank you again for this incredible work. I'm glad that you both can bring it forth. And really, it is a time of rebirth, as you said. And knowing that we're here to do it in joy, with ease and grace, and love and happiness. It's really wonderful. And we really thank you again for standing in your truth on this and really bringing it into our world. So thank you both. Oh, thank you for having us here today, Loren. Thank you, Loren. It's been a pleasure. And to all those listening, um, thank you for all of your efforts in growing and loving more and more. And thank you, too, for listening. We are so glad you could join us in this powerful online space and in the recording. We now leave you with music from the universe, literally created by the universe as musical notes were assigned to mathematical equations. The result is this beautiful music, available at Acoustic Health.